What's up? How not to play here. And today, I'm going to teach you how to put mods on a server. Now, that's some shit that I've been trying to figure out for... It took me a couple hours, but I got it. And I got it to work. It's awesome. And I couldn't find a single YouTube video to help me out. Or even a single article to help me out. So, what I'm going to do is solve that problem. So, you're going to need a few things. First thing you're going to need is this program right here. It's called FileZilla. And you probably use a similar program, but I use FileZilla. I think it's free. I don't think I pay for it. Pretty sure it's free. This may be like a trial or something. I don't know. All I know is that when it appeared, that's when I, I when I needed it. It just happened to be on my PC. I don't know why, but it was there, and I used it, and it worked. So I don't know how long it's been on my PC, but that's besides the point. You're gonna need it, or something like it. Now you're gonna need your server. So this is, I run a seven days to die server off of Nitrado. <clears throat> uh, Nitrado is pretty, pretty good service. And I've been using them for a while. But this is the first time that I've modded a server using FileZilla and hosted by Nitrado. I'm pretty sure that this will this video will apply to other games, maybe, other hosts, other server hosts, maybe, but I just use Nitrato. Now you could do this the long way, where you have, Nitrato gives you a file browser where you can browse all your server's files, and you can make a folder called mods. And then you could just you, you can't upload a folder though the, with this method and that's the major flaw that's like the one thing you need to do so you can upload like files at a time but you would have to name the folders the same way that they're named in the mods and then upload all the files into those folders I don't know. It's just don't do it that way. I don't even know why I'm explaining it this way. It's f I'm fucking out of my gourd right now. So. Don't even worry about this. But what you're going to need. Is this shit right here. The FTP credentials. Now I don't know what FTP stands for. Because I am now I'm not tech savvy. When it comes to mods and servers and coding. And none of this is my forte, so you can understand why it took me a long time to figure this stuff out. But this is what you're going to need. All this information right here. I'm probably going to blur it out. Because I don't know if somebody could use this information against me. I don't know. But that's what you need. What you're going to do is you're going to go to FileZilla. you take that host name. You're gonna just slap that in there. Then you're gonna take the username, pop that fucker in there. And the password, go ahead and pop it in. Then the port, you're gonna go ahead and copy that in there too. You're gonna hit quick connect. And there you go. There is your server on the right hand side, all your server files. Now, before you do anything, this may be obvious, but I'm going to say it anyway. First thing you want to do before you do any of this stuff is to back up your server files. 110% back up your server files before you start messing with stuff. If you fuck it up, it's going to take a lot longer to, you know, restore the server back to vanilla files. On the host end and if you don't have a backup 
It's going to take you forever. So, and you could also restore your server to vanilla with this method if you fuck it up. If you have a backup. Anyway, moving forward. So, you download your mod. I downloaded the Warzuck mod for 7 Days to Die. That's the only mod I have on my server. So, uh, yeah. So you download the mod. This is it, what the mod looks like after it's been extracted. You got these, you got this stuff right here. You got data and mods. Those are the two folders that you're going to be copying over to your server files in the main directory. You're going to copy those over, replace all the files if it asks, you know, all that good stuff. But you can't just like, you know, do this and then just drag and Oh, you can drag and drop it. Never mind. I'm out of I told you. I'm out of my gourd. So, apparently, if you go here, you could just drag and drop if it's extracted. And then, yeah, there you go. You'll see down here all the queued files that are going to be transferring over. All the files that failed to transfer. Why it failed. And then you can try it again or whatever. And it's going to take a long time. I think for this mod, this mod is roughly like 8 or 9 gigs. It's an overhaul for 7 days to die. And it took me probably around 45 to 50 minutes because... FileZilla, I guess, was limiting my bandwidth. But that's cool. I'm cool with that. If you're patient, then by all means. Uh, like I said, I don't think I pay for FileZilla. But I'm sure that if... I'm sure they have some type of like, hey, buy more fucking bandwidth or whatever. But I don't need all that. Yeah. It's as easy as that. I didn't know. I was troubled. I figured this shit out on my own. So, if you happen to, you know, mess up and your server doesn't work anymore, you can't join or something crashes, you know, all that good stuff, you can just delete all this stuff, replace it with the backup that you made, the backup files. That's really about it. It's really that easy. Now, the one thing that I don't know how to do that maybe somebody could help me out with is that when I join a lot of these servers, I'll join, and if the server's running mods, it would automatically download those mods to my computer while I'm joining the server. With this method, I don't know if it's the method, if it's the game, the server, the ho server host, I don't know what it is, you can't do that. Or I can't do that. Maybe it's something I have to code. I don't know. I'm completely lost there. But I just tell everybody, anybody that joins my server, I just tell them, hey, you got to uh, download and install this mod first or else you won't be able to join. It's as simple as that. I hope somebody in the world finds this video useful because I sure as shit could have used a video like this when I was doing all this good stuff. But yeah, um, this is probably going to be the only tutorial video that I make, so I would say see you next time, but probably not, because I don't normally do this kind of stuff. But if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you think I'm a fucking idiot, then give me a thumbs down, I don't care. Um, I would say hit me with a follow or a sub or whatever the hell YouTube does, but you don't have to, because this is the only tutorial I'm going to make, probably. Uh, but if you want to support me, I, I stream on Twitch, how not to play live. But like I said, you don't have to. Probably, it'd probably be a waste of your time. Don't, don't follow me on Twitch. But, fucking, if, if you need, you know, share this video to people who run servers and don't know what they're doing. People like me. And like I said, I hope somebody in the world found this video useful.
I probably could have just cut out like five minutes of this video, but I'm probably not going to do that. Much love to all of y'all. I'll see you next time. Maybe. Probably not. If not, fucking take care of yourself. Much love.